Hey, what's up, guys? This is God Slime, and I've got a cold, well, flu. I might sound really bad, but um, I'm back with another hospital story, and this one is the second hospital story after my appendicitis thing. This is like I'm going through all the big things first, and sorry, it's so hard to breathe. Um, this one is when I broke my arm at school, and it's so sad how I broke it. Uh, I, I broke it by playing touch football with this shoe. Like all these kids at school, if I have the old joke saying, oh, we got no ball, I'd be like, oh, let's play with a shoe. But, um, this is how it happened. Alright, it's been raining for weeks, weeks on end, and it finally stopped. We rushed to the Oval. It's like my second week of grade 8 and we basically just rushed down and we have no ball so we decide to play with the shoe, play, have a good game, very wet, lots of slips and then I have to be the unlucky one and I'm scratching my arm at the moment but um, this is what happens, there's this massive collision, I'm the one that comes out with a bad break, both radius and ulna and if you don't know what that is, that's both of the bones in your arm, in your forearm, both, both of those yeah, had to be rushed to the hospital, uh, got the plates put in. This contains two stories, one at the present time now. Uh, so got two plates put in, six bolts each. So, yeah, 12 bolts, which is uh, 12 screws, two plates. Uh, pretty painful, have two really bad scars, all that stuff. And then, um, yeah, so I was in the hospital for four days. I couldn't really do anything, and... It was only when I just started getting back into tennis because I used to play tennis a lot, like real, like competitions, all that stuff. And just started getting back into that. Just about to go for a Gold Coast competi competition. If you're like live in the Queensland or anywhere in Australia, you should know where the Gold Coast is. Yeah, it's going there. And uh, yeah, break my arm. Wasted all this money, bought all this equipment, had to take it all back. I'm a cool spaceship, cool and, fly. Yeah. So then that that's the first story. Like that's how it first went. And then let's like the second story is this present time. After a year, you have to get it taken out. So I get it taken out. Well, I go into the thing. First, I was meant to be in paediatrics ward, which is like the kids' ward, because you don't leave until you're like, I think 17 or 18. But yeah, meant to go in there, they put me in day surgery, which is like for the old people. So, they put me in there, and yeah, like, they screw up, practically, this whole surgery. I go into the surgery, I'm sitting there going, oh, got all these young kids, because I've been in surgery three times before that now. But... Yeah, so uh, get that done, and it t it takes a three Kenyas, which is if you don't know, it's where you you get it like a little needle into your wrist, and then they they connect the drip into it. Took them three goes because they kept missing, so when they miss, all you see, all I could feel is this blood just rushing out of my body. Five times they miss, blood's pouring out. So then they finally get into the surgery. They remove the plates. I get out. I'm like, oh. That was good. Didn't ha like nothing. I nothing happened. And then after a while, they told me to move my fingers. I couldn't move my thumb. I couldn't bend it. And it was like an instant bad thing because I'm a diabetic and I need to be able to bend that thumb to give myself needles. And yeah, so bad stuff happens. We get really angry. My mum and I. And they say they've either stretched the nerve or broken it so I can't bend it and sorry this was a real quick one guys hope you enjoyed peace out <laughs>